welcome to this press conference. A new Democratic Party brings you warm greetings. And those greetings will extend to the leadership of the opposition National Democratic Congress and use this opportunity to congratulate the party and their flag bearer, the Germani Mahama, on the choice of Jinana Kukwajima, the former Minister for Education under the previous NBC administration, as a running mate to Mr. John Mahama at the 2020 elections pinch closer. It has certainly taken a long time for the selection to be done, but as the saying goes, better late than never. I wish to congratulate the NEC and Mr. Mama for finally managing to take a running mate. We extend our congratulations to the professor, Nana Okwajima, and on her selection, we ask that she indeed gets ready for the fire ahead. Having congratulated her, we believe it is important to remind all of us what Professor Nana Okwajima brings to your mama ticket. In an ideal world, one of the strongest things going for the selection of a good professor would have been that she is a woman. And this would be met with a lot of enthusiasm. Bookwatch by hardly meets the expectations of someone who has a track record of fighting for women or their welfare. Luckily for all of us, Jena no Bookwatch might not need to gather politics, and it's her performance during the period of the political that we are going to continue referring to from now on. We will not remind anybody that it was during her tenure that the teachers allow us to escape. It was done without paying any heed to the many appeals to reconsider the decision. Indeed, it was one of the things she was proud to have done. Scraping teacher allowance. That training allowance. Teachers were the hardest case when Nano Bukwebi was at the helm of affairs at the education ministry. Apart from their transportation allowances not being paid, Nano Bukwebi also introduced the practice of teachers working for two years without being paid and then being restricted to only three months back pay, no matter how long or how hard they had worked. This inhuman treatment meted out to Ghanaian teachers at the time was a great child of Professor Nano Bukwebi, the then minister for education, solidly on her front desk. The cold hearted manner in which teachers were treated cannot easily be forgotten, either by the teachers themselves or the nation. Let it not again be forgotten that Professor Nana Ubukwajina had been a teacher herself before she came to the position of Minister of Education. And yet, it was during her period that classroom teachers were denied common shop to be able to write on blackboard. And we all remember the infamous saying. We will give you chalk today or tomorrow. Voiced by then second lady Matilda Misata and Nano Bukwai was in the saddle. Perhaps the worst thing that can be associated with her name was the Muntier 3 saga. When the Muntier drew threatened death upon some Supreme Court justices, including the then Chief Justice, Theodora Georgina Wood, the then Education Minister, now newly appointed running mate, and I told her she's going to receive the fire. Now, newly appointed running mate, Candidate Mahama, was one of those who joined the campaign for the release of the Muntier trade. Indeed, her ardent anti-feminist posture was too obvious to ignore when she appended her signature to the petition to have the few who have then been incarcerated at the Salon be free against sound advice from well-meaning Ghanaians. How can a woman who hates her fellow women to this extent that she actually advocated the release of the jail few so that they could continue to rape and kill her fellow women? How can she be given such a responsibility now to take care of everybody in the country, including her fellow women? We wonder what message candidate Mama is sending Ghanaians by picking Professor Jaina Nobukwaitu as vice presidential candidate. When her stewardship in the past brought such heartache to teachers and trauma to her colleague women. 
While we wish the NDC well in this regard, we also wish to emphasize that we are ready to tell Ghanaians danger she poses to our goal and development as a country. She superintended over a supposed progressively free SHS, residents were made to pay 1,500 Ghana cities, 1,700 Ghana cities per student in some schools. It is on record that monies budgeted for and approved by Parliament to be paid on behalf of students as these days were never paid till date. When she reigned as minister, many, many things happened to the detriment of that sector. Many of you will recall that yearly incremental jobs in salary skills of teachers was wickedly cancelled. Research and book allowance of our half any lecturers were cancelled. Today, we have reintroduced book and research allowance, and government has also put together a standalone bill to dedicate enough resources for that fund. There were no teaching and learning materials in our schools. Ghanaians were insulted even when they asked for common chores, as I have said before. And she was by the side of candidate Jomama when he promised to build 200 community day SHS, which turned out to be a school year promise. 200 schools that we didn't see. She was again by the side of Mr. Jomama when they failed to give out their promise of building 10 colleges of education. It was during her time that teachers who sought to fight for their rights were always being harassed by the BNI. She presided over the freezing of employment in the education sector and the heightened corrupt practices at the NSS Secretariat. Remember, the Secretariat is under the direct supervision of the Ministry of Education. She has recently advised your mama to cancel the licensure examination for teachers when, God forbid, they come to power if ever. They will. Any rational person wouldn't do that because professionalism is anchored on licensing. And indeed, the teachers themselves have said that they insist on licensing. You also recall that during her time, no payment in the education sector was up to speed. Captation grant was always in areas, school feeding program was always in areas, and even the as I already said. Progressively free SHS was always in areas. She also presided over the near collapse of the scholarship secretariat. Students on foreign scholarships were always complaining because their fees and other allowances were always in areas. All these anomalies have since been corrected by the MPP government under the sterling leadership of Anad Dampa the Kufi. In 2013, when Ghana was ranked last in PISA, she ran away from the competition. Kwai Ghana could have taken the opportunity to roll out robust reforms in dealing with educational challenges as a nation. Yet she preferred not to be ranked at all. The choice of Professor Jena no Bokwajima by Mr. Domjamani Mahama is a clear indication that he does not take the Ghanaian electorate seriously. But then, as our own Vice President, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia has famously said, it does not matter who the running mate is. If the man Main man, that if the man, the main man himself, is indecisive and incompetent, you will still have a problem. It is our view that after having looked so long and wide, the NDC still has a problem. They were never able to find their Mahmoud Baumia clone. Now they've ended up where God knows they can't return. Thank you very much.